infrastructure, investment by central government, significant investment the central government has made over the years in building and improving infrastructure has had a strong multiplier effect on the economy. We will endeavor to maintain strong fiscal support for infrastructure over the next five years in conjunction with imperatives of other priorities and fiscal consolidation. This year, I have provided 11,11,111 11, crore rupees for capital expenditure. This would be 3.4% of our GDP. Infrastructure investment by state governments. We will encourage states to provide support of similar scale for infrastructure subject to their development priorities. A provision of 1.5 lakh crore rupees for long-term interest-free loans have been made this year also to support the states in their resource allocation. Private investment in infrastructure. Investment in infrastructure by private sector will be promoted through viability gap funding and enabling policies and regulations. A market-based financing framework will be brought out. Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. Phase 4 of the PMGSY will be launched to provide all weather connectivity to 25,000 rural habitations which have become eligible in view of their population increase. Irrigation and flood mitigation. Bihar has frequently suffered from floods, many of them originating outside the country. Plans to build flood control structures in Nepal are yet to progress. Our government, through the accelerated irrigation benefit program and other sources, will provide financial support for projects with estimated cost of 11,500 crore rupees, such as the Kosi Michi Intrastate Link and 20 other ongoing and new schemes, including barrages, river pollution abatement, and irrigation projects. In addition, survey and investigation of COSI related flood mitigation and irrigation projects will be undertaken. Assam, Assam grapples with floods every year by the Brahmaputra River and its tributaries originating outside India. We will provide assistance to Assam for flood management and, and related projects. Himachal Pradesh suffered extensive losses due to floods last year. Our government will provide assistance to the state for reconstruction and rehabilitation through multilateral development assistance. Uttarakhand, Uttarakhand too suffered losses due to cloud bursts and massive landslides. We will provide assistance to the state. Recently, Sikkim witnessed devastating flash floods and landslides that wreaked havoc across the state. Our government will provide assistance to the state. Tourism. Tourism has always been. Tourism has always been a part of our civilization. Our efforts in positioning India as a global tourist destination will also create jobs, stimulate investments, and unlock economic opportunities for other sectors. In addition to the measures outlined in the interim budget, I propose the following measures. 
Vishnupad temple at Gaya and Mahabodhi temple at Bodh Gaya in Bihar are of immense spiritual significance. Comprehensive development of Vishnupad temple corridor and Mahabodhi temple corridor will be supported, modeled on the successful Kashi Vishwanath temple corridor to transform them into world-class pilgrim and tourist destinations. Rajgir. Rajgir holds immense religious significance for Hindus, Buddhists and Jains. The 20th Tirthankara Muniswarata temple in the Jain complex, Jain temple complex is ancient. The Saptarishi or the seven hot springs form a warm water Brahmkund that is sacred. A comprehensive development initiative for Rajgir will be undertaken. Our government will support the development of Nananda as a tourist center besides reviving Nalanda University to its glorious stature. Odisha's scenic beauty, Odisha's scenic beauty, temples, monuments, craftsmanship, wild sa wildlife sanctuaries, natural landscapes and pristine beaches make it an ultimate tourism destination. Our government will provide assistance for their development to Odisha as well.